there. Good morning. All the peeps, the gang's all here. <laughs> Yay! Maybe we should have a little rock and roll or something. I don't know. Well, I'm grateful for the weather. How amazing is the weather? Amazing. That is easing the pain for sure. Everybody ready? Good morning, Kat. Yeah, I think everybody's ready. Everybody's sitting cross leg position. Yeah? Close your eyes, keep your spine straight and tall. Try to take a deep breath through your nostril and gently exhale it out your mouth. Just let it go. You're doing two more times. Take a deep breath through your nostril and just exhale it out through your mouth. Again, take a deep breath through your nostril and exhale it out to, through your mouth. Now gently take a deep breath through your mouth. Hold your breath without any tension. Relax your four muscles. Relax your joints and gently exhale to your nostril. Make sure that the prana completely entering inside you, the whole body. Take a deep breath through your mouth. Feel your joints, feel your muscles. Try to relax, feel the prana inside you and gently exhale it out through your nostril. One more time. Take a deep breath through your mouth and gently Exhale to your nostril. Come back to the normal breathing without any tension. Try to connect your prana with your breath. Feel relax yourself. Gently, hands in plain position or in chin mudra, index finger, thumb touching, resting top of your knee, palm facing saving, elbows bending. Otherwise, you can keep your hands in plain position. Send your all in division for your practice. Visualize. Connect your own Atman, your own soul. Try to understand who you are. We're going to do the opening prayer. your toes, relax your ankle, relax your knee, relax your shoulder, gently legs together, both hands
and stop off your knee and slowly moving forward. Gently, rela <clears throat> gently relaxing, supporting with your breath, you're moving forward and exhale, coming back. One more time, gently moving forward and exhale, coming back. Very gently, split your legs a little bit wider, not that much, just a little bit only. Make sure that your heels completely on the floor. Slowly moving forward and back on the side to side and make sure that your elbow rolling top of your knee. Shake it off all the tension. Try to relax yourself. Relax. Come back to the center. Gently hands in brain position. From here, feel yourself strong and long. Upper body more straight. Interlock your fingers and gently hands moving forward, palm facing opposite direction and gently try to feel stronger. Make sure that once you're here, try to engage in your elbow more stronger, push your hand more forward and try to reach as much you can and stay there. Make sure that your both heels completely on the floor. Look straight, you know, look down, relax, not giving any tension on your shoulder or your neck. Take a nice deep breath. If you move a little bit more forward, feel the a gentle lift happening on your root chakra, your muladhara chakra. Feel that gentle lift happening on your hip area. Slowly hands coming back and gently relax. Hands in praying position, gently moving side to side. Very gently, relaxing your shoulder, a right arm going towards to your left leg area. Slowly, right arm all the way going, grabbing your left toe or your ankle or your shin bone. Slowly holding it here. Gently lift your right arm all the way up and slowly crossing your right elbow. Looking towards to your left side. Take a nice deep breath. Look a little bit forward. Take a nice deep breath here. Take one more breath and gently lift your left arm. Relax your left arm and slowly right arm coming back. Relax your shoulder and slowly moving side to side. Come back to the center. Gently and slowly left arm all the way going towards your right toe. Wherever you can reach, right toe or your ankle or shin bone, wherever. Keep your hands straight, that's most important. And gently looking a little bit ahead from towards to your right toe. Gently lift your right arm and right arm, right elbow crisscrossing your left elbow, leaning a little bit more forward, leaning a little bit more forward. Take a nice deep breath. Make sure that you're not giving any tension on your right arm. Right arm just resting top of your left arm. Take a nice deep breath. Gently opening your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath. Gently relax. Slowly lift your right arm. Slowly right arm down. And gently relax your left arm. And slowly moving side to side. Come back to the center. Slowly feet together. Slowly bending your both knee. Make sure that your knee not bending that much, just a little bit. Not all the way towards your hip. So hands outside of your shoulder line, 40 degree out. Gently elbow bending, relaxing your shoulder. Make a nice relax. From here, slowly make sure that your toes, your heel, your ankle touching together. From here, Slowly supporting with your breath, slowly and gently your both knee going towards your right side. Make sure that your left leg completely top of your right leg. Slowly relaxing your ankle. Once you're fine here, once you relax, slowly lift your head up and just rest in. Looking towards your ceiling. Don't close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath. Make sure that your both palm completely on the floor. Again, slowly supporting with your breath, slowly coming back to the center. 
and gently both knee coming back to the center. Relax, again relaxing your shoulder. From here slowly, both knee going towards your left side, right leg completely top of your left leg. Gently going. Once you find your both knee, gently lift up, head going all the way behind, just resting. Take a nice deep breath. One more breath here. Slowly head coming back to the center, both knee coming back to the center. If you can keep your hands a little bit more behind, you can. From here, slowly try to bend your elbow, using maximum breath, bending your elbow, slowly straightening your elbow. One more time, gently bending your elbow, inhale, you're not giving any tension, using your elbow, slowly and straight. Relaxing your shoulder. Slowly coming back. Hands in praying position. Hands not touching your knee or your chest. Hands in praying position, top of your knee, but not touching. From here, slowly opening your legs. Looking straight towards your fingertips. Slowly opening your knee. Make sure that feet are praying position. Again from here, slowly. Again, both knee coming back, knee touching together. One more time, inhale, gently opening your knees, looking straight, you know, looking your toes or your knee, slowly open up. And gently exhale, knee coming back. Relax your hand, gently hugging your both hands. This time, your heels coming more closer to your hip. If you can hug to elbows to elbow, through your shin bone. Gently lift your head up, keep your chin resting top of your knee and close your eyes and try to listen to your breath. Make sure that you're relaxing your body. You're preparing your body for the asanas. Take a nice deep breath. Very gently opening your eyes, looking straight, gently leg straight. And relax. Now from here slowly standing, we're going to do Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutation. We're doing two rounds. One round is one is right and left, that is called one round. Like that, we're going to do two rounds. Come a little bit forward to the mat, relax your shoulder. <clears throat> Surya Namaskar are not considered as asana. So because we are not staying long time. So come in Surya Namaskar position, sun salutation. Do it very gently. You have a little bit modification too. Hands in prayer position on your chest. Take a deep breath through your nostril and exhale it out. Prepare yourself. Again, inhale, lift your both hands up and arch your back. Exhale, forward down. Inhale, gently, right leg all the way back. Right leg knee bending. Looking straight, opening your chest. Take a nice deep breath here. And slowly, your left leg going back. Stay in push-up position. From here, knee, chest. Forehead down. Inhale, swing forward and arch back. Gently tuck your toes. Exhale, inverted V. Looking between your palm. From here, gently lift your right leg a little bit up and slowly placing between your palm. Left leg knee on the floor. Looking straight. From here, Inhale, left leg joining back towards your right feet. Head still down. From here, inhale all the way up, arch back. And exhale down. Again, coming back to the steady position. Again, take a deep breath and exhale it out. Take a nice one more breath. Feel great yourself. Inhale, lift your both hands up and arch your back. 
exhale forward down. Both palms completely on the floor. From here, left leg all the way back. Left leg knee bending, looking straight. Opening your chest. From here, exhale. Slowly take your right leg back, push up position. Looking between your palm. From here, exhale, knee, chest, forehead down. Chaturanga position. From here, inhale, arch back. Bhujangasana position. From here, tuck your toes. Come up in inverted V, pyramid position. Take a nice breath here. Then from here, gently lift your left leg just a little bit up. Then slowly try to place it between your palm. Then gently right leg knee on the floor, looking straight. Then inhale, right feet joining back to the left feet. Gently inhale, lift your head up, hands up and arch back. And exhale down. Relax. One more round, we're gonna do it. Hands in brain position. Take a deep breath and exhale it out. Inhale, lift your both hands up and arch back. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg all the way back. Right leg knee venting, looking forward, resting your toe. Exhale, left leg joining back, push up position. Exhale, knee, chest, forehead down. Inhale, tuck your toes and arch back. Exhale, inverted B. Inhale, lift your right leg a little bit up and place it between your palm. Left leg knee on the floor, looking straight, opening your chest. Exhale, slowly, left feet joining back towards your right feet. Inhale, lift your head up, hands up and arch back. And exhale down. Relax your shoulder. Again, hands in praying position. Inhale, lift your both hands up and arch back. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg all the way back, left leg knee on the floor, looking straight. Opening your chest, make sure that your palm completely on the floor. From here, slowly taking your right leg back, push up position. Exhale, knee, chest, forehead down. From here, swing forward and arch back. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, lift your left leg a little bit up and place it between your palm. Looking straight, right leg knee on the floor, relax your toe. Then gently right leg all the way forward, hands down. From here, inhale, lift your both hands up and arch back. And exhale down. Relax here, slowly shake it off yourself. Feet a little bit wide apart. From here, slowly both palm top of your thighs resting. Inhale, slowly going down. Your palms all the way going down towards your ankle. And exhale, all the way coming back, upper body straight. Again, inhale, all the way going down. Exhale, slowly coming back. We're going to do one more time. Inhale, all the way going down. Exhale, slowly coming back. We come back to the Tatasana position, mountain posture. Feet together, hands in praying position. From here, slowly connect to your breath, close your eyes. Feel stronger. Try to feel yourself stronger, more connected with your breath. From here, gently, hands in praying position, gently lift your hands all the way up. Looking straight, now concentrate your hands. Feel that your palm like a lotus, Kamala Bellum. Feel it. 
connect to your breath feel that there is air inside on your palm from here concentrating your Agni Chakra between your eyebrows slowly shifting your whole body weight towards to your left side relaxing your whole right side body very gently visualize it very gently slowly lift your right leg and connect your breath looking straight relax here take one more breath feel relaxed take one more breath and slowly legs coming back and slowly hands coming down relax your hand relax your shoulder again hands in praying position make sure that we're not praying this way we're making kamalata means a lotus so gently hands going all the way up all the way up make sure that you balance them with your air inside your palm more all the way up engaging your rib cage now the whole body weight shifting towards your right side and gently relax your left side completely and gently left leg up take a nice deep breath connect your breath take one more breath here try to relax yourself and slowly left leg coming back relax your hand slowly hands coming back relax your shoulder relax slowly legs are 30 degree a little bit wide open gently hands straight in front of you and slowly relax your shoulder slowly keep your hands all the way behind make sure that fingers are open palm facing opposite direction gently bending your knee gently bending it make sure that your knee you're not closing your toes line connect your breath keep your hands stronger and gently lift your heels up take a nice deep breath smile you can smile too smile yourself take a nice deep breath one more deep breath here and slowly feet down upper body hands stay still straight in front of you from here again bending your knee this time you connecting your belly breath and connecting your manipura chakra and slowly lift your toes up make sure that you're not walking back you stay in there spread your energy with your fingers feel that you're holding in your visualize feeling that you're holding somewhere lift your toes up you connected you're not walking back staying right there feel stronger root yourself slowly toes down knee straight relax your hand relax gently lift your both hands all the way up and exhale down again one more time inhale lift your both hands palms together and exhale down inhale lift your both hands up and exhale down now from here slowly lift your right leg a little bit up place it up from here slowly swing all the way try to take it behind outside of your left side so gently bending your knee hands in praying position make sure that you're connecting your deep breath you're not taking short breath take a nice deep breath more important how you can find your right knee about to touch on your mat or just stay there activate a strong breath looking straight feel connected feel connected nice deep breath here one more breath gently both knees straighten relax your hand slowly take your legs back relax from here gently bending your knees straightening bending your knee straighten from here slowly lift your left leg gently place it on your right side behind your right leg looking straight hands in plain position gently bending your knee left toe activating left heel is not touching 
Strong breath. Take a nice deep breath. Feel connected. Strong breath here. Feel more strong. And very gently, slowly both knees straighten. Relax your hand, slowly sink back. Relax. Gently split your legs a little bit wide open. Make sure that you're not opening all the way out, just a little bit, and gently bending your knee, not holding any tension here, just slowly moving. From here, slowly both hands, slowly all the way behind, interlocking your fingers. Once you interlock your fingers, your hands away from your body, activating your shoulder, pushing your chest forward. Gently take a deep breath here, leaning more forward. Then from here, arch back. Take a nice deep breath. Here, gently bending your knee. Take a nice breath. Stretch your neck. Because I'm stretching my neck, I cannot talk. Take a knee, deep breath. Slowly coming back. Relax your hand. Relax your upper body. Gently moving side to side. Now we're going to do Trigonasana. Let's a little bit more closer. Triangle. Inhale. Gently lift your both hands at shoulder line. Strong hand. Gently right arm all the way slowly going down towards your right knee. And gently hands going. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now. Gently, your left palm facing towards your right side and slowly hands a little bit more reaching. Through your left fingertips, you see towards your right side. One more breath here. Take a deep breath. Gently supporting with your right arm. Slowly hands coming back and slowly exhale down. Relax your shoulder, gently bending your knee, but relax yourself. One more breath here, and gently exhale. One more breath here, and gently exhale. Again, hands at T position, shoulder line. Feel that your hands stronger. Very gently, slowly your left arm all the way going towards your left knee, outside of your left knee. Meantime, your right arm all the way come in. From here, once you reach center position of your body, gently turn your right palm towards your left side. And slowly opening your hands a little bit more. Through your right fingertips, you sink towards your left side. Take a nice deep breath. One more breath here. Take a deep breath. Gently supporting with your left palm. Slowly coming back. Gently palm facing opposite and slowly exhale down. Gently legs together, hands in pain position, close your eyes and connect to your prana. Try to stay there for a four or five breath. Connect your breath. Try to feel completely the energy flowing, the body completely relaxing, you activating your whole chakras, gently opening your eyes and slowly come back to the Shavasana position. On your spine, slowly Palm facing ceiling, feet are 30 degree wide open, toes falling apart. Try to take a nice deep breath through your nostril, fulfill your belly. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So 
slowly shake your head side to side. Gently opening your eyes, slowly turning. Make sure that your both shoulders are completely on the floor when you're turning your head. Come back to the center. Try to turn, lift your head a little bit up. Try to see behind you. And slowly head coming back. Relax. Very gently. Legs together. Hand over behind your head. Interlock your fingers. Stretch all the way. Take a nice deep breath. Stretch your toes. Stretch your hands. Stretch. And exhale to your mouth. Relax your hands and close your body, palm down. Very gently, slowly lift your right leg, just a little bit up, not all the way. And gently, right leg knee bending a little bit. And slowly straightening, and exhale down. Inhale, lift your left leg, 60 degree up. And gently, left leg bending. And slowly straightening your knee and slowly exhale down. Relax. You're not holding any tension or any stress. From here, slowly both hands go in T position, shoulder line. Palm completely down. Opening your chest. Make sure that you're not crunching your chest. Opening your chest. Very gently, slowly both knee bending towards your hip feet on the floor. Once you are here, reach here, gently feel that you're not lifting maximum. Just lift your hip halfway and try to open your hip a little bit more forward. Gently, it's not Sedabandha Asana. Gently lift your hip up and try to lean forward. Lean forward, lean forward. Make sure that you can gently relax your shoulder. From here, slowly swinging side to side. Take a nice deep breath and slowly swinging side to side. Let it go all the tension on your hip area. Gently come back, slowly hip down. We're going to do Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. So shoulder stand, easy way to come up. You can bend your knee towards your chest and gently swing forward and back. You can support your palm, completely supporting your palm on your hip area and elbows coming more inside your body. And you can keep your legs straight as much as you can. It's not you have to be in a perfect position. Make sure that you enjoy You're not giving any tension on your hip or your palm or your elbow. Very gently, it's the easiest way to come, slowly bending your both knee. Then, slowly, gently lift your both knee a little bit up towards your chest. Once you find here, feel connected with your breath. Then swing a little bit, rock forward and back. Once you find, you relax. Make sure that once the hip happens, gently elbows coming closer and supporting your palm on your hip. Slowly from here, slowly lift up, elbows come in, slowly closer, and gently supporting your elbow closer, slowly feet coming up. Make it 90 degree. Even you're here or here, no problem. Make sure that elbow holding half of your body weight. Take a nice deep breath. From here, slowly opening your legs just a little bit up. Feel that you're relaxed. Feel that you're relaxed. Gently open up and slowly relax your toes. Gently legs together. Slowly, one leg slowly opening a little bit towards your head area. Gently coming back. And gently right leg all the way going behind your head and slowly coming back. Gently bending your knee towards your forehead. Slowly hands on the floor, gently hip down, slowly legs straight down, and relax. Palm facing ceiling, and relax your breath. 
Connect to your breath. Take a nice deep breath. Now we're going to do Sedu Bandhasana, supporting with your elbow today. Gently bending your both knee, feet are shoulder distance apart. If you keep your feet shoulder distance apart, make sure that your heels coming more closer to your hip. Hands close to your body. Supporting with your breath, gently fulfill your belly. And exhale to your mouth. One more time. Take a deep breath through your nostril. And exhale to your mouth. Now, you're ready. Gently relax your breath. Say to yourself, I'm relaxed. You're not keeping any tension on your facial muscles or your neck or your chest. Very gently, supporting with your breath, very gently lift your hip up. Once you lift your hip up, gently elbows on the floor, thumb going inside, four fingers on your side of your body, lifting your hip up. And try to feel that your elbow coming more closer. Once you're here, you're in a good Sedabandasana position. Beautiful. Try to relax and breathe here. Supporting with your palm, strong breath, gently lift your right leg up. Nice breath here and slowly down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And gently exhale down. Relax your hands, palm completely down. Gently hit down, leg straight down. Come back to the Shavasana position. Close your eyes. Palms are outside of your body. Palm facing ceiling. And relax. Slowly shake your head. Not creating any tension on your shoulder. Take a nice breath. From here, slowly hands in plain position. Elbows are not touching. Hands in plain position. Make sure that palm a little bit down from your chest. From here, slowly go down your elbow a little bit more towards your mat, but not touching. Again, activating. Slowly lifting your both elbows a little bit down. Again, slowly palm stronger. Gently elbows coming down. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And again, gently lifting your both elbows a little bit or make sure that strong palm. From here, slowly bending your both knee to go to hip. Feet are praying position, knee wide open. So your feet are also praying position, your hands are also praying position. From here, when you're gently lifting your chest up and head up, make sure that your chin rests in your fingertips. Take a deep breath. Take one more breath. Take one more deep breath. And slowly head down. From here, slowly swinging side to side. Come back to the center. This time upper body staying straight and completely resting top of your mat. Strong palm here. Inhale, make sure that using your inner strength, your feet coming up from the mat. Make sure that knees are wide open, feet touching together. Then relax your hand, slowly grabbing your hands wherever you can. On your toes, your ankle, wherever you can. Connect completely, elbow slightly bending. From here again, slowly swinging side to side. Slowly going, find your knee completely on the floor. Using your breath, you're not holding any tension. Slowly moving, 
relaxing your breath try to relax come back to the center now head staying there your knee wide open toes coming towards your forehead and staying there take a nice deep breath now try to hug elbows to elbow push it down take a nice deep breath slowly relax slowly hands here and slowly legs coming back hands in plain position from here relax your hands slowly hands down stay a little bit time over here try to open your hip try to feel it you're opening your hip your secret chakra completely opening you're relaxing your inner organs you're not holding any tension you're opening meantime you're taking a deep breath you're giving a nice massage inside gently legs together slowly knee getting together from here slowly gently lift your right leg all the way up grabbing your both hands on your right knee behind legs coming more closer elbow bending make sure that you're not giving any tension relax your ankle from here slowly lift your head up chest up you're here relax from here slowly lift your left feet completely from the floor and gently straightening and looking straight towards to your left toe looking straight you're not creating any tension here and gently relax and smile if you smile yourself you're taking out all the tension on your face then you can relax don't close your eyes if you close your eyes you try to forget your forget to breathe make sure that you open your eyes and keep smiling slowly head down gently left leg knee bending feet on the floor relax your hand gently right leg all the way down relax and gently left leg so take a deep breath from here again gently bending your both knee again towards your feet from here slowly and gently lift your left leg all the way up grabbing your both hands behind your left leg knee Legs coming a little bit more closer. Relax your ankle, not holding any tension. El elbows bending. Relaxing your chest, relaxing your neck. Slowly lift up. You don't need to lift up all the way. Make sure that you're relaxed. Once you find your balance, activating your manipula chakra, gently lift your left, right feet up and gently right leg straight. Not all the way up, just a little bit. And through your right toe, you seem straight and relaxing yourself and you're breathing. You're taking a nice deep breath here. You're not holding any tension. You're smiling. Take a deep breath. Don't close your eyes. Take one more breath. Gently head down. Gently right leg knee bending, feet on the floor. Relaxing your hand. And gently left leg all the way down and relaxing and very gently right leg knee also straight come back to the shavasana position connect your breath slowly turning side to side connecting your breath from here today we're going to do malsyas and we're not using our hand inside Hands close at your body, feet together. From here, slowly opening your palm a little bit, little bit out of your body line, slightly bending your elbows. Fingers are open.
from here, make sure that head staying completely on your mat. Gently lift your chest up. Lift your chest up. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Through the nostril. One more breath. Gently relax your chest. Relax your head. Back facing ceiling. From here, slowly rolling your body towards your right side. And coming back, coming back and sitting position. From here, slowly coming on cat position. It's cat on there. Mm -hmm. Come to the cat position. The kitty cat. <laughs> she always on here, this side. <laughs> Feel that your hip completely rests on top of your heels. Slowly moving forward and back. Excuse me, moving forward and back. Slowly come back in cat position. Make sure that your spine strong and straight. From here, Gently elbow bending slowly on the floor and chin try to keep it between your palm. Again, slowly come up, elbow straight. You can see when the cat get up, cat will stretch. Same thing we're doing here. Slowly elbow bending. Then try to keep your chin as much you can forward. Slowly head coming back, elbow straight. From here, connecting your breath, looking straight, activating your acne chakra. Very gently, lift your right arm all the way up through your right fingertips. You see, and gently activating your whole body weight on your left arm, and gently left leg. All the way up, looking straight and breathe. Take a nice deep breath. Feel yourself strong, feel yourself light. Take a nice deep breath. One more breath here. Slowly hands coming back. Gently legs coming back. And slowly try to move you side to side. Relaxing your hip, not holding any tension. Back. Then again, gently lift your left arm, gently lift your left leg, right, sorry, right leg. I don't want to kick our devotees. Looking straight, opening your hip, you're not swinging your hips side to side, staying straight, looking strong breath here. Take one more breath, nice and deep breath, slowly hands coming back. Gently coming back, slowly going down, slowly relax. Slowly go back to the child position. From child position, slowly come up, standing on your knees. Knees are shoulder distance apart. If you are comfortable, you can do camel position all the way in a proper way. Otherwise, you can keep your hands behind, interlock your fingers, and you can stretch too. So gently, so there are um, Capri there, Jojo there. Most of them do it the same way, so we can do it a little bit advanced way today. Gently lift your right arm all the way. Gently going, grabbing your right heel and gently going here left arm slowly grabbing your left heel too slowly lift up your head gently head back take a nice deep breath 
one more breath gently left arm coming back and right arm coming back relax in your shoulder and gently going makarasana position on your belly hands like a pillow toes touching and go folding apart head to the right side or left side Come back to the center. Gently, we're going to do Bhujangasana. Forehead on the floor. Elbows bending close to your body. Palm under your shoulder. Feel that you are comfortable. You're engaging your L6, L7. Little bit, keep your palm. Go down a little bit more. Gently supporting with your breath. Gently lift your head up. Make sure that when you're lifting your head up, your elbow not opening. Elbow coming more closer. Inhale, lift up and arch back, relaxing your shoulder, relaxing your hip, gently looking to the ceiling and take a deep, nice breath. Slowly, gently exhale down, forehead down. Relax, come back to the Magadasana position. One time you keep your head to the right side, the second time keep your head to the left side. Take a deep breath. One more breath. Gently come to the Dhanurasana position, bow position. Gently bending your both knee. Tuck is there. Yeah. Slowly right hand grabbing. And she do this way, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> gently wide opening your knee toes touching make sure that you're not giving any tension on your navel part try to fulfill your belly inhale lift your head up lift your legs up feel connected feel happy smile take a nice deep breath take a nice deep breath slowly gently relax your legs relax your hands head coming back magarasana position from magarasana slowly go back to the child position Take one more breath in Makarasana position and gently come up. Slowly come up, standing position for the balancing posture. Hands in praying position. Gently hands straight in front of you. Slightly bending your hip, hip going wide, a little bit more back side of your body activating your right leg completely and gently left leg all the way back. Looking straight, connect to your breath. Feel connected, feel connected, feel connected. If you connect to your breath, you can keep your hands straight in front of you. Nice, deep breath. Slowly hands coming back and gently legs back, relax. Again, hands straight in front of you, gently halfway bending, keep away from your body line, relaxing your right side, activating your left side, gently lift your right leg, looking forward, connect your breath, gently leave your hand, hand straight in front of you. Take nice deep breath. Feel connected, feel strong, feel completely connected, nice deep breath. Slowly, hands coming back. Relax. Connect your breath. Stay for a two or three breaths. From here, 
Gently lift your both hands up all the way up. Next, seal forward down, Padastas. Gently shake your head, elbow bending. Relax. Inhale, lift your both hands up all the way up. And exhale down. Relax your hand. Gently lie down for final Shavasana. Legs apart, hands apart, palm facing, ceiling. Take a deep breath through your nostril and gently exhale it out through your mouth. One more time, take a deep breath through your mouth and exhale to your nostril. Again, one more time, take a deep breath through your nostril and exhale to your mouth. Come back to the normal breathing without any tension. Feel that your both shoulders are completely resting and both discs completely resting. Both heels completely resting. Relax. These are the main six pillars in our body when we are in Shavasana position. Once our ankle, or our hip, and our shoulder relax, slowly we relax. Make sure that the whole spine completely relaxing. You're not holding any tension or any stress. Once your spine relax, the whole back body completely relaxing. Relax. Now very gently. Visualizing from your heels to your hip, your both legs are completely relaxing without any tension. Your knee joints, ankle joints, hip, hip joints are completely relaxed. It's relaxing. Very gently visualizing your abdomen, especially lower abdomen, relaxing your inner organs, there is no tension, no pain, no stress, gently relaxing your ribcage, relax, relaxing your chest, there is no tension, no heaviness on your chest, relaxing your chest, relaxing your shoulder, Relaxing your elbow, relaxing your wrist, relaxing your fingers. Both hands are completely relaxed. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your throat. No tension on your neck. Relaxing your facial muscles. Chin, jaw, your lips, nose, cheeks, eye, eyebrows, your forehead. Facial muscles are completely relaxed. It's relaxing. Once your body relaxed, your mind also relaxing. Nothing is bubbling in your mind. Your mind completely inside you and relax. Your body and your mind.
legs together, hang over behind your head, interlock your fingers, and gently exhale through your nostril. And gently relax your hands. And slowly roll your body towards your right side. And gently come back to the center in sitting position. And slowly come to the crossed position. Hands in praying position or in chin mudra. Feel happy yourself. Feel relaxed yourself. Say to yourself, nothing is going to bother me. I'm happy and relaxed. To keep your hands in praying position or in chin mudra for a final prayer. so much.